Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. The International Space Station is one vehicle short of where we expected it to be today as yesterday's docking of the Cygnus cargo vehicle launched last week by Orbital Sciences Corporation has been delayed a few days. The new docking schedule is still being determined, but the earliest possibility is now this weekend. That's meant some changes to the Expedition 37 cruise schedule. But the Space Station Flight Control Team here in the Space, Flash, Space Station Flight Control Room have been working diligently to make sure the crew stays busy all the same. Flight Director Mike Lammers is leading the team today, and astronaut Scott Tingle is assisting as Capcom. The Expedition 37 crew is now more than halfway through their day, which began at 1 a.m. Central Time. Currently orbiting 260 miles above the Pacific coast over Washington state, they are Russian Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, U.S. Flight Engineer Karen Nyberg, and European Space Agency Flight Engineer Luca Parmitano. Those three arrived at the station on May 28th and now have spent 117 days in space. They've been alone at the space station since the other half of what was then the Expedition 36 crew left on September 10th. But they'll be getting some company soon with the Soyuz launch scheduled for Wednesday, which will deliver flight engineers Mike Hopkins, Oleg Kotov, and Sergei Ryzansky. That's scheduled to lift off at 3.58 p.m. Central Time and arrive at the station six hours later at 9.48 p.m. on Wednesday. The Soyuz TMA-10M that they'll be traveling in rolled out to its launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan this morning. While they await the arrival of both the Soyuz and the Cygnus, Nyberg, Parmitano, and Yurchikin have a hard uh, day of work on a number of science and maintenance projects ahead of them. Parmitano is working uh, through several runs of the InSpace 3 experiment today. That looks at how magnetic fluids are influenced by magnetic fields and microgravity, which could help engineers here on the ground design structures such as bridges and buildings to better withstand earthquakes. He also spent some time on the Skin B experiment, which is a European space agency project aimed at better understanding skin aging mechanisms. Those are so slow on Earth that they're nearly impossible to study, but they accelerate in weightlessness. And toward the end of the day, Parmitano will spend some time reviewing procedures for the NanoRax experiments, which are a set of seven new experiments devised by high school students and being carried to the space station by Cygnus. Karen Nyberg, meanwhile, has been working on the Combustion Integrated Rack, which is an experiment hardware intended for use specifically with combustion-related investigations. It's recently been used for the FLEX experiment, or the Flame Extinguishment Experiment, and she spent some time today replacing one of the manifold bottles that, help runs ex that helps run experiments on the uh, hardware. And Fyodor Yurchikin is also working on a couple of experiments in the Russian section of the space station today, including the Coulomb Crystal Experiment, which studies crystals that build special structures of particles under strong electro electrical magnetic fields, and also the Matryoshka Experiment, which studies the radi radiation environment on board the space station. That's what's going on in space this week, and this is Mission Control Houston.